everyone. I just wanted to give a quick update on how things are going down here in Honduras and at Casito Copan. So we are now in week eight of a very strict stay at home order. As many of you know, we had to close down our daycare center temporarily. We still have 16 kids in full-time care and we've had to get pretty creative as we look for ways to serve as many of our children as possible with as many of our services as possible. I feel like during this time, we've all had a chance to really learn about ourselves. And I've also had a chance to really reflect on the work that we do here at Casi Pan. We've all been discovering what it is that we can live without. And for me, over these past two months, I've seen just how much the kids cannot live without Casi Pan. Since the lockdown, we've been sending out food, care packages, educational materials every two weeks to the kids who are part of our daycare program. Most of the moms right now can't work because of the government restrictions, so what little income they had before is now nothing. The local government is helping, but there's just not enough to go around because so many families in Copan are suffering right now. For now, Casita Copan is all that these families have. What we're doing right now is helpful, but it's just not enough. I've realized over the time just how important the community of Casita is for our kids. For them to have a place where they can come together, where they can learn, where they can play, where they can be safe, it's just so meaningful for them. For many of the kids who are part of our program, Casita Copan is their family. And for the kids who are in our Casita's foster care program, Casita is their only home. That's why it's so important for us to do everything that we can right now to make sure that the kids who depend on Casita don't get let down. Each one of them has a chance right now at a future that they wouldn't otherwise have. I know this time is difficult for all of us, and that's why it's been so meaningful to me how many of you have reached out to find out how we're doing and how the kids are. I know that we all have so much on our plates right now. Uh, we're working from home, we're trying to raise our kids, we're trying to keep our sanity despite everything that's going on. Sometimes it feels like this whole situation is just so overwhelming, it's just too big. And then someone reaches out to me that I haven't heard from in a while, and I remember just how incredible our community really is. Our supporters and all of you understand that we can't do everything, but we can all do something. And you keep doing something over and over again, and that's why our kids actually have a chance. So I just want to say thank you to all of you, to our sponsors, our monthly donors, our board of directors, to all of the incredible people who continue to donate over the years, and those of you who are new to our community. All together, we've really created something special, and it means so much to the children and the, and the families that benefit from it, and I'm so glad that you're a part of it.